Psalm 115 draws out powerfully the stark difference between the kind of gods that are mere fabrications at human hands and the living and active God whom the psalmist praises. These words capture perfectly the inertness of idols made from precious metals. They have mouths and speak not, eyes have they and see not, they have ears and hear not, noses have they and smell not, they have hands and handle not, feet have they and walk not, neither speak they through their throat. An idol like this is an entirely passive projection of the human mind, but the language used to describe the Lord God is entirely active, a helper and defender, and above all else, one who blesses and makes his creation flourish. No wonder the psalm begins and ends with praise, a joyful and unceasing response to the active goodness of God. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give the praise, for thy loving mercy and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore shall the heathen sing, where is now their God? As for our God, he is in heaven, he hath done whatsoever pleased him. Their idols are silver and gold, even the work of men's hands. They have mouths and speak not, eyes have they and see not. They have ears and hear not, noses have they and smell not. They have hands and handle not, feet have they and walk not, neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, and so are all such as put their trust in them. But thou, house of Israel, trust thou in the Lord. He is their succor and defense. Ye, house of Aaron, put your trust in the Lord. He is the helper and defender. Ye that fear the Lord, put your trust in the Lord. He is the helper and defender. The Lord hath been mindful of us, and he shall bless us. Even he shall bless the house of Israel, he shall bless the house of Aaron. He shall bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. Ye are the blessed of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. All the whole heavens are the Lord's, the earth hath he given to the children of men. The dead praise not thee, O Lord, neither all they that go down into silence. But we will praise the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Praise the Lord.